Hey everyone, it's Bubs B here, and I will be transforming my hair into this elegant hairstyle. Super easy to do, and I use eye tip micro link extensions. Have you tried these before? You need a few tools, but it's super easy to install. You get this full and voluminous look. So let's get into it. I do want to thank why wigs for sponsoring today's video they sent me over three bundles of their natural color afro kinky curly micro loop eye tip micro links hair extensions that's a long name but <laughs> also i love that they gave me some extra accessories i have the tools needed to install these so that is a plus you're going to definitely need these products so you can see this gorgeous curl pattern of this hair kinky curly hair i love the texture the softness of it you can cleanse it wash it co-wash it whatever you like and you can see those micro loops at the top yes very very interesting okay i've never tried these before but i said hey let's try something different so i thought hey let me fluff out this texture just so the hair can match even better with my kinky texture with my afro hair my hair has already been cleansed, conditioned, it has also been detangled, and I did blow out my hair. You can see it's nice and fluffy, hair is growing, I'm happy to say. My hair is prepped and ready to go. So I will quickly just part off any leave out. I highly recommend to take some leave out out the whole perimeter of your head, okay? Just so these extensions can blend even better with your own natural hair. Okay, so once I have my leave out braided up and out the way, it's time to test this product out. So I did a couple sections off camera. Don't mind me chewing the gum. I wanted gum at that moment. <laughs> but I did a couple sections off camera, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. And you can see I have the eye tip micro link extension hair in my hand. With these micro links, you don't have to add a needle, threads, anything it has a bead at the end in that micro loop so you can easily apply this to your strands so you want to start off with a small section if you have thick hair like mine do small sections okay if you think it's small enough go even smaller <laughs> you just want to make sure your hair is actually going through that hole easily all i am doing is attaching that loop around the strand then i'm pulling the bead to get my whole strand through that little hole at the top of the extension hair and once it's through there, I position the hair so it's laying on top of my hair so it's gonna blend into my hair a lot better. You can see the difference of my natural texture and the extension hair. Now once I have the position perfect, then I will go in with the pliers that they sent over. You need this to secure that extension to your strand. It's going to press that tab down and ensure that the hair is not moving around. And you can see I already have a good rhythm I can move the sections around any way I want. It's not tight. Make sure you're leaving about an inch or so, so it's not too tight. So if you wanna put your hair up or down or sideways, you can do so. If you put it too close to your scalp, you will not be able to move this. It will be too tight. We don't want pain for you, okay? We want an easy install. So I'm gonna keep repeating those same steps. I will come in with some more closer shots, some more detailed shots on how I actually do it. Slow it down, speed it up, whatever you need to do to ensure you are getting the perfect install. Okay, so here's a close up shot. As you can see, I'm putting my hair through the loop. It's through the loop. Now, I'm holding one hand on the bead and the other hand on the extension hair. I'm just going to pull my hair through that hole. Now I'm adjusting the position, making sure it's not too tight and it's not too close to my scalp. And I'm going to take pliers and press down on that metal clasp at the top to secure it. It's very simple guys, very simple and straightforward. So let's talk a little bit more about these eye tip micro links. I love that it's super natural and most people wouldn't even believe it's extension hair. If you blend it well enough, okay, you can get away with this looking like your own natural texture. And I love the natural color of it too because it blends so well with my kinky hair. You don't need heat or glue or anything for this installation. As you can see, it's super easy, made with virgin human hair. So you can treat it, alter it, cut, style it, whatever you like with these extensions. You get the full movement with each section. So like I said, if you want to do an updo, if you want to straighten this, flat iron it, blow it out, if you want to 
braid it up you could do so whatever you want to do this is a perfect option for you this style is long lasting okay you can use it for up to a year you can get three to four applications and it will last you about six to eight weeks per application you can also wash your extensions while it's in your hair too okay it's very simple and straightforward it's just like real hair so if you take really good care of it these will last you a very long time as you can see it's coming along my hair is looking super full i'm loving the curl and texture of it and i'm just loving how quick and easy it is i love this installation i will show you guys a little bit later on how to remove them i'm telling you to remove them it's even easier trust me <laughs> so i am almost finished you guys see i'm taking out my leave out and i'm loving the volume the length i'm just loving the fullness i'm getting and this is blending so well and i like that i got 18 inches because it's not too long it's not too heavy it's just like that perfect length that i want my hair to be right now that it's not at but i want it that length <laughs> so i'm just going to continue to do this i'm just going to continue to add the extensions i will come in later and talk during the video so just stay tuned for that okay so this is how far i've gotten i definitely can go in and add more extensions but i'm actually going to be doing a hairstyle so i don't want to add too much hair on the top because I'm gonna be doing a high bun and I don't need so much hair up there. Definitely if you go if you are going to be wearing these gowns, definitely if you're gonna be wearing the hair down like this, I would put in a couple more, I guess. Yeah, I would definitely put in maybe four or five more rolls right here, maybe two to three rolls right here just to fill it out. So there's not like a distinct line between your natural hair and their hair. If you had longer hair, that's the same length as this, which is 18 inches, it would have blend a lot better. So you wouldn't see like a distinct line. But for me, my hair is not that long. <laughs> so this is a good stopping point for me. Cause like I said, I'm putting my hair up and I already have a lot of hair already at the top, but I'm loving, I am loving this. Like I'm loving this. So I think I'm gonna do a half up, half down. Okay, but so far this is looking amazing. But I definitely want to give you guys a hairstyle. Last time I did a style like this, I didn't really do a hairstyle. I, did, I think I did a braid out. You can definitely check out that video if you want to. But I was like, hey, let's do a pony. Let's do a half up, half down. So I'm going to find where I naturally part my hair and get my hair positioned to where I want it to be. If I need to add more to fill out this bun, I will do so, but you can see the bun is pretty full. I don't think I'm gonna need any hair up here, but yeah, let's keep on going. I got some tools, all right? I definitely think I should have probably parted off where I wanted to end at to get a clean part, but you're not gonna be seeing that, all right? We're gonna camera. I'm gonna camouflage it. So I'm gonna start with the back. Okay. And for the back, I think I'm gonna put it up and let it hang. You know? And then do the top as a bun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And removal is super easy. I'm just taking <laughs> these out because I don't want these to show why I have my hand in the pony. But you can take those same pliers and squeeze it the opposite direction. And it will turn it back into a circle and you can take those extensions right out. Check the other side. I have one over here I'm gonna take out too. So I'm just gonna press on it on the opposite way and it should just slide right out these are super easy to take out i definitely love love how fast this installation is and how fast it is to take it out i really like that so i'm going to add a little edge control around the perimeter just to smooth the hair my hair some just to make it look a little more tame even though this is like cool like wild look <laughs> not wild but i really like this is messy. I love the texture of the hair. So I want to keep some kinks. I'm not taking the kinks out. But I'm just smoothing it down so I can just grab all this up. 
and put it into that ponytail. So you definitely can use whatever ponytails you like, holders you like, right? Because I want this to be a pony and like kind of like a puff. I highly recommend like a shoestring or something. That would work really, really well. Yes. Oh yes, I like this. I like it, I like it. I like this, yes. Okay. I love when I do a hairstyle or I have a thought of a hairstyle in my head and when I'm doing it, it's just looking how I want it to look. Yay. Okay. Now, you're gonna have to help this hair out. Okay, especially with your blended hair, you're gonna have to fluff it a little more. So for the front, um, like I said, if you want to add more, definitely add more. I don't want too much hair at the top of my head, especially because I'm doing ponytails. I don't think it's necessary. Um, I think if you have like finer hair or um, your hair isn't as coarse or you don't have as many shirts as I do, you could definitely add more. But if you have a lot of strands and a big head like me, <laughs> You probably don't need that much. Um, you probably don't need to install that many. So I'm gonna make sure to smooth it really well. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Smooth this down really well. Like I said, I added some edge control. Now for the front, definitely gonna add more edge control. <laughs> but I'm gonna do that in a minute. Because my postpartum shedding is coming in, so doesn't lay down. Like I said, I'm making a bun. And like, do you see the blend? The blend. The blend is so good. This is the this is the extension hair, and this is my hair. Okay. This the extension hair does have definitely more curl than my hair does because my hair is like blown out a lot. But just look at it. Alright, you can always do a little one two and take some of that here if you want to add more and just like pin it in if you want to. That's definitely an option, all right? All right, that's definitely an option. You can definitely do that, all right? You can definitely do that. But I'm just going to tuck and pin and get this bun how I want it to look. I just love these curls, I love these curls. Okay, so I'm back. I laid my edges down. I applied a ton more edge control <laughs> just to get everything smooth and sleek. Did my makeup, put on a beautiful dress, and yeah, the style is done. I will go in and fluff the hair and pick the hair more in the back, but like I said, you can play with these extensions. You can do so much, and you don't have to take this out in a week, okay? It will last you a while. Like I said, six to eight weeks, this install will definitely last you. And if you want more hair, more volume, you can definitely add more of the extension hair. So I only used about one and a half, maybe one and three fourths of a pack because I didn't need too much extension hair in the front because I was creating a bun. But like I said, if I was wearing my hair down, I would probably use two and a half packs because I have a lot of strands. Thank you so much Y Wigs for sponsoring this video. I really enjoyed playing around with this hair and creating this hair style let me know down below what you thought of this video would you try out eye tip extensions micro link extension hair would you try it out i'm gonna leave all their links down below to purchase if you would like please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all in the next one